Here we go then. Callum hudson -Odoi, second or third time he's been in this position. Pulls it back for Jordan. And there's a deflection in there. And it's looking like it is going to be Jordan's goal. But there's an absolutely huge deflection that has played a big, big part in this opener. Great ball from Celta as they get their first chance maybe on this corner. And there's the delivery in. And Raul's going to put it back in. And uh, literally their first attack. Jimenez scores. And that's what you talk about again. The concentration from Beister as Jimenez is round him. And there's another delivery. Don't tell me it's going to be two. Oh my goodness. Two shots, two goals from the same side. Celta in front, right on the stroke of half time. That's three of the same now coming in. Fion Sisto driving forward. It would have been a different game if Hudson Dodoy took a good first touch, wouldn't it? We got him through initially. And there is Patrick. Sent wide, but Luka Jovic trying to make something of this. Jovic, lovely turn. And that is what you need when he's on the pitch. Finds that corner of the goal. Very nicely done. Celta 2, Villarreal 2. A 2-2 two -two draw in the end. And I'm not going to lie, I'm disappointed. Look at that, two shots on target. Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 5 of season 4 of our career mode and today we begin the episode with the return fixture against Young Boys in our fourth game of the group stage as we look to secure our spot in the knockout rounds themselves. I don't know why it's showing Jovic there because he will not be playing for this first game but the plan of action after that we're just going to see how it goes because we've got in the month of November Young Boys first, Levante after that, Espanyol away. Groningen, I think, at home, and then Sevilla at home as well. So we'll see what I decide to play and what we decide to sim and all that good stuff in a few moments. Of course, though, first, we do have this game, and there's something to keep your eyes on because I'm going to be giving a debut today to 18-year-old, or 17-year-old even, Lazardis. He's going to be playing as a cam for this first game. So free star, free star. We'll see how he gets on in this one. On the bench as well, the potential for uh, Theo Fanus to come into the side. And that five-star weak foot looks really good. And actually, I want to show you something. Look at his picture, right? Take that in a second. And then, if you take a look at this young man, where is he? There he is. Same person, is it not? Literally the same person, apart from, like, maybe a couple of things, like the hair. I mean, he looks like his long-lost twin. Literally. Maybe uh, Patrick has got a brother he didn't know about, but... Patrick won't be playing for this first game. Don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was quite funny because I looked at him when I was editing Theo Fanus and putting new boots on. And I thought, wait a minute, have I clicked Patrick by accident? But no, it just looks like the same person. So long lost Greek brother. How about that? Nevertheless, we will jump ourselves into game number one and look for a three points that will surely take us through the group stages into the knockout rounds. I really like that kit, by the way, from Young Boys. That's a cool kit. Here we go then. Lazardis, debut for the club. How will the Greek man get on? Let's find out. Selly turns and finds Chukweze in the box. And it should have been a better finish from the wide man. I mean, he's done well this season when he's come in the side, Chukweze. And I'm sure he'll be a threat down that right-hand side for us against this young boys team. Just there, he's got to be a bit more composed. Lovely touch from Samata gets him away from the defender. Now Chukweze will give him the run. And this is what I'm talking about. This is where he loves to play, Chukweze, because he can get and commit defenders. And he does just that. As the ball nearly bounced through to the debutant for him to put it in the back of the net. Player to watch tonight, apparently going to Daniel De Groot. He is going to have to play a part. And that's the first cross of the night in towards the box. And it's caused a few issues. Trigueros doesn't clear it. I mean, what on earth is that for a clearance, Trigueros? <laughs> it is awful. Fully awful. I mean, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so upset. First cross of the night, doesn't get dealt with. I mean, that's poor. And then what on earth he's trying to do here? I assure you, that was an X to clear the lines. And I'm pretty sure I held it down. So I don't know why he's done that. He kicks it straight against their player. And Garcia has put them in front inside our home ground. It's awful from Trigueros. That's why he's not in the side much. And after tonight, making a mistake like that, I'm not sure it will be either. Chukweze looking to get his back on the front for early doors. Samata with the shot, bounces back for him as well. Looking to get in behind to have another go. And that time it was defended. Awful way to concede. Great header from Diakabi. Samata brings it down brilliantly as well. And now he's got Chukweze making the run. Anybody in the box with Chukweze to aim at. There is Trigueros for the reply. And he's redeemed himself now then. I'll take it back. Maybe you will still play after tonight. 
gave away the goal, but he's redeemed himself with the finish. And it's a fantastic ball from the wide area from Chukweze as well. I did highlight him, didn't I, down that right-hand side. Gives you so much. You have to credit Samata, though, because it was his first touch to bring the ball down and bring Chukweze into play that got us in down that right initially. And it's a fantastic finish by the captain tonight. Really didn't start off very well giving away that goal, but at least there's the reply. Still got a little bit to do to get back in my good books, though. And hopefully he will do that. There is the quick reply we were looking for. Only half an hour gone. We should have been better with a cutback from Chukweze towards Lazardis, but he should have held his run a little bit more. Are you joking me? Look how far that cross has come into the box. And again, we don't deal with it. We were so good from corners attacking it, but defensively we're so bad. I mean, that's not good either what I'm doing. What am I doing? Focus right now. Otherwise, we're going to go into the break at 2-1 down. As I'm trying to get the ball back now because of a mistake made by me. And that's the shot coming in. Which will be wide of the post. We need to switch up and focus right now. Okay, well, referee, you are really beginning to get on my nerves. Just consistency is just not there. I'm going to make a change. We're going to put De Groot in a more central role. And we are going to bring on Fiofanos out on that left-hand side. He's uh, right-footed by trade with a five-star weak foot. So De Groot playing a bit more centrally, trying to make things happen. And uh, we've still got a little bit of time to go here. So two debutants now. He's wearing number 26, Diofano. So keep your eyes on that as well. And uh, we've now got the two Greek players on for their debuts. That was close. And luckily Blanco had it covered. Still a while to go. We can get this win. Alvarez, Trigueros, Baselli, De Groot's in behind. De Groot! There we go! Just what we needed. 24 minutes left. Villarreal 2, Young Boys 1. Daniel De Groot's got it. To be fair, though, not the most convincing of finishes, but you saw the run there coming through. And as soon as he made it, I had a feeling if we can get that ball through to him, he's going to score. He keeps his composure, gets it on target. Low is what you want. There's a touch off the goalkeeper. Not enough to see it out, though. And we are now in front for the first time tonight. And it's not really come through any of the uh, the Greek debutants, but still, not too worried about that. They've, they've played their part. As uh, I say this, we've lost possession here. We might be in a bit of trouble, so we have to defend again. Alvarez will do that on the first time of asking, but it is a throw in deep in our half. Here is Theofanus again towards Baselli. Baselli sees the run coming in from De Groot again. De Groot to finish. What a block in the box. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name, but that is incredible block. Surely stopped a goal there. De Groot must have thought he'd scored. It's nine minutes left and it remains 2-1 here. We have got both our central defenders inside the area, I do believe. So let's have a look for one of them. Chukweze's corner in. It's gone towards the head of the Akabi. Just not able to reach it. Chukweze will get back on this. Find Diop. And now Fiofanus. Ball under control. Keeps it close as well. Finds De Groot. Now to Zachariah off the bench. What can we do here? Zachariah looking for a chance. Finds De Groot again. Turns, spins, finds the bottom corner. What a finish from Daniel De Groot. Game set and match. And this is the quality we talk about from De Groot. Look at this. Knows where the goal is as well. Doesn't even have to take a look. He's got his back to goal when he shapes up to hit this. Through the legs of the defender. Into that corner. No chance for the keeper. Keeps it low. Very, very good finish. And that is what he's capable of. Which is why I've been a bit disappointed so far this year. Maybe the step up from the Netherlands over to La Liga. That's poor from them. Has kind of, you know, made him think twice about certain things and trying them out. Samas is going to be found here. Onside still as well. Comes to Theofano. So imagine if he can get himself a goal. Lovely skill. Shot comes in. It bounces for Chuck Weze. And another brilliant block in the box. Well then. As we go and search for a fourth now. The corner is put in. Fantastic block again defensively from them. And this looks like it might have gone. But Theofano picks this up. Diakabi now. Zachariah. De Groot on a hat trick, remember. Just could not squeeze it through to him. But yeah, fantastic performance tonight from him. Hopefully more of that to come in the future. As we tick time away now with the ball out wide to Noah, to Noah Beister. Beister. Cross goes over everybody. And that should do it then as the ball goes out of play. As soon as this ball comes back in, there will be the full-time whistle. 3-1 victors. And I believe, my friends, that takes us through to the group stages. I mean, to the knockout rounds. Yeah, I knew what I meant. So the plan right now is to play this one against Levante and possibly sim the Europa League game against Roningen. Because if I show you the Europa League group stages... Um, I think we can get away with potentially losing a game, whereas in the league right now, we're still unbeaten. So, yeah, there's there's the group stage right now. We're through no matter what, because there's only six points left to play for. Obviously, we are now eight clear of uh, BSC Young Boys and Lazio and, and nine clear of Kroningen. So, worst case scenario is that we essentially lose the game, but we're still through, so it doesn't matter. And in fact, actually, having said that, we're through as group winners. So, again, does not matter. We have got that first seed. 
So I'll be simming, I think, the next two games pretty much. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Levante up next for us at home as we look to continue our league form. And this is how it stands. We have a game in hand. Potential to move four clear of Sociedad in second place. As I said in the last episode, though, it is still very, very close up here. I'm not used to seeing this because remember our last season in the Netherlands, it was us and PSV. And then after that was like a 20 point gap. Whereas you look here and inside the top five, really, it's, it's a win between fifth and first. So, yeah, not really used to seeing that. But nevertheless, we will go into this one against Levante looking for the three points. It's gone to a 4-2-3-1 and there it is for you. Look, Jovic up front, Patrick in behind, Chuck away's out on the right. And Sisto back in on the left. And it's a very strong starting 11 that hopefully will get the win. And for the moment as well, we are the top defensive side in the division. Only better than Barcelona by a single goal. So I say that quite lightly, of course. Um, nevertheless, this is going to prove hopefully quite a tough test. I want these games to be competitive as it is right now. Because I don't want to have it just a simple way of us winning the title. Chukweze immediately in. Trying to find us down the right hand side. Bice's delivery. It's a decent one as well. It's going to bounce out for Jordan. Under control finds Patrick. Patrick now... Block to the shot, but early warning signs here for Levante. Jordan again, Patrick again, back towards Jordan. Gets in behind Jordan for the finish, off the post. And there it was, that first opportunity really to test this goalkeeper. Corner ball it will be though, as we look to get another one in. Patrick's delivery, it's a Diops there. He got up well, but just could not win it. And that is going to be the end of it, I think, because of poor pass. But we should have the ball back in our own defensive area anyway. Off the woodwork immediately. Zachariah towards Jordan. Jordan up towards the feet of Patrick. Sends it off him as well. Look at how many bodies Levante have got back behind the ball here. This is madness. Patrick found now again by Zachariah. Literally all but their two up front. And even then one of them's dropping in. Look, Jordan. Oh, we've given it away. I was aiming for Zachariah and he didn't make the run. But it's actually just crazy to see. As soon as we get the ball in that area, everybody back for Levante. Junior to Sisto, Pion Sisto, across the face of goal! What a tackle by Meccano! Thought that was going to be it. I genuinely thought we'd done enough there to uh, finally find the opener in the game. Look at the space here. If we can get this ball into that area from Pion Sisto, it might prove good. Diop's up! Yes! Issa Diop finds the breakthrough. Sit back behind the ball now then when you're 1-0 down. Hopefully that'll open it up a little bit more as well because it's been no end of frustration here. So hard to break teams down when they sit behind the ball. Get in. It's a Diop. Fantastic header. We're up a goal to nil. Beister. Patrick. Zachariah. It's a good play this. We need to be calm again. Patrick towards Chukweze. Got to be finished and it is. And it's 2-0. Again though, the keeper. Big, big touch on this. Should save it. But we will not complain. Chukweze is on the score sheet. 2-0 to us. And I think that will allow me now to make the changes happen. So... It is going to be Chuck Waze's actually final contribution because we are going to bring on Theofanus out on that right-hand side. And for now, that's the only change we're going to make in the game. 30 minutes left, 2 a lot. Just how much of a touch does the goalkeeper get on this? Calm play from Patrick, leads it in. There you go, easy as you like. Oh, it's a Diop, that was a really bad touch. And now we're in trouble and Asenio's made it. Oh, it's the Diop. What was the first touch there, mate? I gave you praises earlier for the fact that you scored the opening goal. Did that cross even... Oh, it didn't even come in. That's appalling. Um, honestly, though, right? I thought we'd done all right, but we chipped it. To Issa Diop, I was thinking, yeah, no pressure at all. This is fine. Play our way out. And then he took that first touch in that corner, by the way. Holy moly, that was bad. Nevertheless, we got away with that. Sisto's ball in towards Lazardis. Saw them a bit short, so the first touch was not great from him. Can't genuinely believe we almost conceded from that. Oh, there you go, mate. Theofana steals back the ball. Sisto is the outlook pass, and he's giving him it as well. Lukijovic had a quiet night so far. Can we get him a goal in this one? Sisto delivery in towards the head of Theofanos in the end. And it's wide. <laughs> Look at him. It looks exactly like Patrick. Oh, wow. Anyway, there's the... Oh, he wasn't too far, was he, from his first Villarreal goal? Should have probably left it for Lukijovic, though, in all honesty. Trigueros stealing back possession and looking for Luka Jovic, who's running on empty in terms of the tank. And I can't actually believe he's been caught there. But there is a full-time whistle. 2-0 victory in the end. It was a very frustrating first half for us. Struggled to break them down. But in the end, it's a Diop got the goal. And then Chuck Wales, they doubled it before leaving the field of play. I mean, you can see there was really only one team in that. There was a clear game plan from uh, Levante. And that was to try and stop us from scoring a nick and nil-nil draw, which didn't work out in the end. 
hate those type of games, though, because they really are difficult to play. And we got Espanol up next. Now, we're four points clear at the top of the table, but I'm expecting this to be pretty much the same. Um, they're going to probably sit behind the ball. I was trying to break them down, although I could be wrong. Espanol, home advantage. They may feel confident to come and attack us, but we're going to start unchanged. Again, the two Greek lads are on the bench. You know what? Every series, you always get players that come through the academy that you always look at, uh, like forward to seeing how they're going to progress. Obviously, the Groot has now kind of made a name for himself, winning a Champions League. Noah Beister, of course, didn't come through our youth academy, but um, certainly is, is a game generator player and played a part. And now I'm excited for these two guys to see how they're going to play as well. Like, imagine four, five seasons in, right? You have De Groot on the left-hand side, Theophanes on the right, in the midfield, Patrick and Lazardidis, and then, of course, anyone up front who we can find that's also a game-generated player. That would be some team, especially with the potentials that all of those guys have. I actually kind of want to sim right now and get there, but obviously that spoils it, really. Yuka Jovic immediately to Patrick, and we might be in immediately. Sisto shot! Well, should have scored, to be fair, but... We broke them down with relative ease there. So maybe it won't be as difficult this time as I first thought. Jovic and Sisto link up. Pion Sisto's fake shot pulls him back in towards the area. And now Jordan has got Chukweze just in front of him. Great run. Chukweze towards Patrick to finish. Oh, my. Hero, whoever that defender is. Hero, Zachariah. What a shot. What a save. That central defender there, whoever it was who came back. What a hero. Sisto's corner. It's a Diop free header. That's what happens when you allow it. We started off so quickly here and we've got a just reward. I was giving him so much praise for that guy that just stopped Patrick from scoring. But there's Diop. Corner again, man. That's where you don't want us to be. Having our big central defenders in the box. Corner to a free header for Issa Diop and he doesn't miss these. He really doesn't. Sisto first time to Jovic. Jovic can return it back to Sisto. And this is where you don't want to be in. Pion Sisto running at you like this. 2-0 Villarreal and Sisto's got on the score sheet. Jovic helps it though, didn't he? Might have had a quiet episode for goals, but at least he's got on the assist charts then. And to be fair, we caught them napping. They went up the other end. We're trying to get back in the game, Espanyol, and they were made to pay. Sisto 1-2 with Jovic. This finish, by the way, is clash from Sisto. Outside the right boot. Squeezed it past the, uh, the goalkeeper into that near post. 2-0 and that should be enough. We've limited literally everything that Espanyol have tried to do so far in the match. I'm quite happy the way this game's going. Jovic is yellow carded. Look at this for a little interchangeable play. And it has to be. Oh, it's so unlucky. But Sisto will get it back. Offside. Oh, that's even worse. Look at that for play, by the way. And then Chuck is a short off the post. Sisto's tapped it home. And he's offside. The flag's gone up. But it really deserved a finish in the end. Especially this cut back inside. And then the shot from Chuck. Oh, he's... Look at how close that is. Oh, I can't believe that. Should have been three. It deserved to be three. And there goes Beister finding Chuck Weze. Looking at P and Sisto on the other side to get in front of his man. Instead, we still got it with Chuck Weze. Now he can find Sisto. First time finish. And that is right out of the top draw from P on Sisto. It had to be first time because I didn't want them recovering and the ball was fizzed into him so he couldn't really take a touch. He lets the ball do the work and just lets it hit him on the right foot and find its way into that corner. Chuck Weze's ball, look at how fizzed in that was. I mean, it's quality from Sisto. Time for the change then. We will bring on the two Greek lads. In fact, while we're at it as well, let's bring on De Groot and put him out on the left. So midfield three changed around. Azidis, um, Fiofanus and De Groot all on. Really well done, Fiofanus. And now Jordan... Jovic on the right-hand side, going to find Luka Jovic. Jovic, bit of composure maybe. Jovic to finish, and it's like that. 4-0, Luka Jovic with the four. Feel a little bit bad now, because uh, we are starting to get a bit of a landslide going on. Really nicely worked, though. You have to give us credit where it's due. Lazidis through for the Groot, and it might get even worse in a second here if Daniel De Groot can finish, which he can. It's five for Villarreal, and this is becoming embarrassing for Espanyol. Lazidis with an assist as well. De Groot gets the goal. Doesn't really celebrate over the top because it is five. This is getting a little bit embarrassing now for them. And I uh, kind of feel like we need to stop. But at the same time, goal difference might play a part this season. So it's even more beneficial for us. Jovic to Beister. Back to Jovic. Now Lazidis. Jovic through the middle. Luka Jovic on the ball for number four, six. And it's easy as that. Jovic, what a finish. 6-0 Villarreal. And it's another one. It's another assist for Lazidis as well.
Credit where it's due. He's been good since coming on. I don't know why we keep seeing that as a celebration, by the way. It pans out to that, and I don't even know what it is. Takes that touch there. Keeper doesn't come. And if he's on his line, Jovic is passing it in the bottom corner. Exactly what he did. Tenth of the season. Very nicely done. Is there a chance for one more opportunity as the time ticks away here, Luka Jovic? Looking to send him back. Not quite. And there is the full-time whistle then. Six nil victors. Quite ridiculous indeed. But goal difference could play a huge, huge part this season. So I'm glad to have that. Felt a lot different than uh, that, that game against, was it Levante? There, I just couldn't seem to find the chances here, though. We've got an abundance of them, and we really took them as well, didn't we? As I did say, we have Froningen, and as we cannot be caught, this will be the same game that I spoke about. Pretty sure we've got the backup side we have. Um, obviously, Beister is a usual 11, but the rest of the people are in and out. So, again, it's at home. Not really worried about this. They beat Lazio in their last game, so that's really, really good for them. But um, I'm not expecting too much here. Let's sim it. And um, we get a 3 1 win. Samata 2, Chukweze 1. The only change was Zachariah on for the group. So, other than that, not too bad. Thought we'd have a quick look at the Eredivisie. And as you can see at the moment, the Krafshap are topping the table. 13 games, 9 wins, 30 points. But PSV and Feyenoord, very competitive. Ajax down in fifth. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see, obviously, them still, you know, showing a bit of dominance in that particular league. Um, I don't know who's playing and who and whatnot, but obviously they did have a good side that we left them with. In the Champions League, where are they doing for their group stages? That would be very interesting, wouldn't it? If they finished third and then got knocked out and came into our, into the Europa League. Where are they? They are there. They're in second place. You know what? There is potential for them to get knocked out into the Europa League. Imagine that, my friends, if we were to play them. They've got to play Valencia next and Wolfsburg are playing against uh, Michelin. So... There's every chance De Krafschap could get knocked out into the Europa League. Imagine us pulling them in the knockout rounds or if they got all the way to the final. Imagine it being like a Villarreal De Krafschap final. Oh, I'd love that. Part of me would love it. Part of me would be thinking, this is going to be a <laughs> bit of an annoyance. Nevertheless, our last game of today comes against Sevilla in the league. And um, right now with Sociedad winning, we're only a point ahead, but we do have that game in hand. So it could go back to four. Back to the full strength, usual 11. Let's do this. And I'm actually sure when that last game is played in the Champions League. So we might actually see that as, as early as next episode. Imagine us getting them. I don't even want to think about it at this point. I believe I've seen Quincy promise in the Sevilla 11 then. So nice to uh, see they've still got some quality there. Even if they aren't in the top 10 currently of La Liga. Zachariah and Jordan are two midfielders of course. You've seen our side. Don't really need to see it again. But here it is. Midfield free. Chuck Weze, Sisto and uh, Patrick. And Luka Jovic leading the line. I see a strong bench as well. But this then will be the Sevilla lineup. So Rico in goal, not a bad goalkeeper. Three at the back. We'll have Rekic, Lascelles, and Sumoro. Not too worried about that, actually. Vitzel holding the central midfield area as their captain. Aging now, of course, as well. Promise, really, the only thing to worry about in that midfield. And a front two of Beretta and Fernandez. Honestly, I don't think they uh, they really have a great side here. I think we're in for uh, hopefully another three points. Oh, look at the space over on this left-hand side for Pion Sisto. Sisto into the area. Jamal LaSalle's with him. Sisto, composure, pulls it back on the right foot. And there's only one outcome when Pion Sisto gets into here. Goal machine for me under, me under my reign at Celta in FIFA 17, was it? Or 18? And he's continuing. His eighth goal in all competitions now. Seven assists to add to that as well. He's got 15 goal contributions in like 19 appearances. Oh, Rico should have saved it. Oh, didn't even go in the top corner. I just looked at it where I thought it did. Rico, Rico, Rico. Not great. I won't complain. Sisto, there was an early warning sign there as we began anyway when he got in after the first couple of minutes and they just didn't heed it. Three at the back is really going to cost them when we're playing three in attack for ourselves as well. You know, we're going to have a lot of space in behind here and I fear that that's, that's going to be a problem for them as Luka Jovic now allowed to turn by Vitzel, and we're going to find Patrick. Patrick over the top looking for the run, and it's not really found, but Junior going to pick this up at fullback, and look at this right now. They're struggling here, Sevilla, to really clear their lines. Not a great start. Pion Sisto nicks it back and can't get it again. It will be a Sevilla throw. Oh, actually, it's our throwing. What? I mean, this, this is where they need to withstand, because if this goes to 2-0, they're in trouble. Patrick, now Jordan. Patrick again, Sisto again. See if anything comes of this as we find Chukweze towards Jordan in the area. Jordan continuing on the ball, looking for the cutback and great defending again. Patrick. Oh, here we go. Pion Sisto in behind again. Sisto, Chukweze to finish and it's not there. 
The issue was <laughs> I completely mistimed it with Peon Sis, though. I got caught in two mines. I was originally going to take it, and then I thought, nah, let's cut this back. And in trying to cut it back, I ended up mistiming it and then caused myself to not have a good shot, which looked like a cross in the end. And Chuck Ways at least got on it. Just couldn't find the back of the net as we all find Jordan. Oh, oh, that was close to being a misplaced pass. So close. Got to be better than that. Jordan will find Chuck Ways again, though. And we are literally causing them no ends of problems right now. I, I fear for them. Three at the back just doesn't work against us when we have three up front. Chukweze, Beister, Noah Beister lifts it in. Luki Jovic going to meet it. Comes to Sisto. He tried to be cheeky and it didn't work out. I mean, we're just lining up at this point as the delivery in from Sisto. Again, keeper comes out to punch it. Every time we go close, I'm just thinking, let's get another one. Patrick. Zachariah. 2-0. Villarreal. What a finish from Dennis Zachariah. It's a really, really tidy shot into that bottom corner. And that is going to do it then. I mean, Sevilla, three at the back, just doesn't work. We love a three at the back formation, mainly because it's easy to break them down and find chances. Look at this from Zachariah. Smashed it in. Look at this. Jordan to Patrick. To Patrick for three. Patrick! Poor first touch. Allowed the keeper the opportunity to come and collect it. As we will bring on Theo Fanus here. I mean, it looks like Patrick's coming on. Used that joke for like three times already. Speaking of Patrick, it's going to be him to deliver the corner. And there it is delivered in. Zachariah was attacking it. So many opportunities in that box for us to win headers. Theophanos maybe from distance. Straight off the bench. And you know what? Not a bad effort. Not a bad effort at all. Free kick, Sevilla. Again, quite close to our area here. Not ideal. Quincy promised it over this. Looking to just chip it in. I mean... I could have told you that was going in. Could have told you. Two players attack it. Goalkeeper comes out. I didn't even tell him to do that either. And our clean sheet's gone. And it looks like a very favourable scoreline for Sevilla at the moment in terms of, like, not being embarrassing. But I assure you, it's an own goal. I assure you, we have absolutely battered them here. Theo Fana's own goal. <laughs> not the contribution we hoped for when we brought him on. If they steal a draw from this, I'm going to be fuming. Jordan, Theophanus, we're over the added time, or into added time, I should say. Theophanus is delivery, Sisto. Oh, why wouldn't it highlight Luka Jovic? I was switching there as well. It just didn't highlight him. Should have been three. Honestly, I'm, I'm actually, I know we're going to win the game, but I'm disappointed because we battered them. And a 2-1 scoreline is not really great to win. But on another day, that could have been four or five, you know. Like, I mean, they didn't even have a shot and they scored. <laughs> what? That's just dumb. And you can see why Sevilla are so low down in the table. Nevertheless, guys, that is going to do us for today. A massive, massive thank you for watching. We have four clear in La Liga, and we've already booked our spot in the knockout rounds of uh, Europa League. Sevilla down in 12th there. Um, but if you have enjoyed today, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you are around here, like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. It will every single day for you to enjoy. I hope you all have a fantastic week, a fantastic day, and I will see you all again for the next episode very, very soon. Until next time, adios.